Hello and welcome to this global health video blog brought to you by the academic journal Globalization and Health. My name is Greg Martin and I'm the chief editor. Fact number one, HIV is the human immunodeficiency virus and it infects cells of the immune system. You probably knew that. This infection results in a progressive deterioration of the immune system and the immune system breaks and it breaks down the body's ability to fend off some infections and other diseases. AIDS is acquired immune deficiency syndrome and it refers to the most advanced stages of the HIV infection and it's defined by the occurrence of opportunistic infections like tuberculosis or pneumocystis coronia pneumonia or related cancers like Kaposi sarcoma. Fact number two, HIV can be transmitted through unprotected sex, blood transfusions, sharing of needles and mother to child transmission of HIV. Fact number three, 34 million people live with HIV worldwide. The vast majority of these people live in low and middle income countries. An estimated 2.5 million people were newly infected with the virus in just 2011. Fact number four, HIV is the world's leading infectious disease killer. About 25 million people have died of the disease to date and an estimated 1.7 million people died of the disease in just 2011. Fact number five, combination antiretroviral therapy prevents the HIV virus from multiplying in the body. If the reproduction of the HIV virus stops, then the body's immune cells are able to provide the body with protection from infections. Antiretrovirals also decrease the risk of transmission of the virus in discordant couples. This is where one partner has HIV and the other one doesn't. Fact number six, close to 10 million HIV positive people had access to antiretrovirals in low and middle income countries at the end of 2012. There are some 26 million people who will require access to antiretroviral drugs under the new 2013 guidelines. Fact number seven, an estimated 3.3 million children are living with HIV. According to 2011 figures, most of these children live in sub-Saharan Africa and were infected by their HIV positive mothers during pregnancy, childbirth and breastfeeding. Over 900 children become newly infected with HIV every single day. Fact number eight, mother to child transmission of HIV is almost entirely avoidable. Access to preventative interventions remains limited in most low and middle income countries, but progress has been made. In 2011, 56% of pregnant women living with HIV received medicines to prevent mother-to-child transmission of the virus. Fact number nine. HIV is the strongest risk factor for developing active TB. In 2011, approximately 430,000 deaths from tuberculosis occurred amongst people living with HIV. That's a quarter of the estimated 1.7 million deaths from HIV in that year. Fact number 10, there are several ways to prevent HIV transmission. Key ways to prevent HIV transmission are number one, practice safe sexual behavior such as using a condom. Number two, get tested and treated for sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV. Number three, avoid injecting drugs. And if you do, always use new and disposable needles and syringes. And number four, ensure that any blood products that you might need are tested for HIV. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button right over here. You can also give it the thumbs up by clicking right over there. In order to do that, you're gonna to need to sign into YouTube. You can sign in using your Gmail account. And remember that if you click on my name, you'll go through to the channel and you'll be able to see more videos that we've created. You can get more information on this and other topics at globalizationandhealth.com. Globalization and Health is an open access, peer reviewed online journal. And of course, thanks very much to the happyyellowant.com for providing the graphics. These facts and figures are available at the World Health Organization's webpage, www.who.int.